Greetings and welcome to Channel 9's English News Program. I'm Lexo Bekari and these are the latest developments in the country. Ministry of Internal Affairs of Georgia prevented a terrorist attack in Georgia today. Two foreign citizens were arrested in relation to this case. Law enforcers arrested Mikhail Gadiev and Rimzan Omarov in Tbilisi early this morning. Explosives were found during the search along with ammunition and fake IDs. An investigation is underway under the article of organizing a terrorist act. The prosecutor's office is also actively involved in the investigation process. According to Archil Kvilashvili, he, was, uh, he has no information about the destination of the bombs. Kvilashvili said that the Ministry of Internal Affairs will provide additional information to the society. Seven Georgian soldiers who died in Afghanistan were buried with military honors today. The burial ceremony was attended by representatives of the Georgian government. Minister of Defense Irakli Alasania visited Eniseli village in Kvareli municipality where he paid his condolences to the family of Corporal Teimuraz Ortavize. Deputy Chief of Joint Staff Vahtan Kapanadze visited Rustavi together with other military servicemen where he attended the burial of Mikhail Naridonashvili. Boris of Zurab Gogenashvili, Georgi Adamov and Boris Sugashvili were taken to Gori Cathedral. Zviat Sulhanishvili was also buried in his home village today. As a reminder, ju reminder, Georgian soldiers died on June 6 during a terrorist attack in Helmand province in Afghanistan. According to the Georgian government's new initiative, families of soldiers who fell in combat for Georgia's integrity, independence and unity will receive 1,000 lari on a monthly basis. The change will be uh, executed in two stages. It will start in 2014 and will be finished in 2015. A change will also be made to the bill on military service. According to the amendment, families of fallen soldiers will receive a one-time reimbursement in the amount of 100,000 lari instead of 15,000. Minister of Justice met with the Religious Council of the Public Defender's Office as well as representatives of various confessions. The parties discussed legal problems and religious conflicts faced by the minorities. Representatives of the confessions paid their attention to Samtotskharo incident, the current tax regime as well as problems connected to legalization of property. This issue is going to indeed relate to the legislation, but in recent years we faced other types of problems, which are religious tensions in regions. I would like to hear their opinion on how to solve these complications so law enforcers can cooperate more closely with them. David Kiknadze, head of Spring Works Promotion Project, visited rural agricultural stores today. The project is aimed to support farmers with small land supplying 884 rural agricultural retail stores with goods and equipment. 31 stores already function in Kutaisi. David Kiknadze and Levan Merabishvili, the head of the project's agency monitoring group, examined the shopping process today. According to them, it is mandatory to monitor the activities of the stores, as 129 stores have already been fined with 500 lari for artificially increasing prices on various products. 16 stores were dismissed from the project because of this repeated violation. The monitoring occurred suddenly. Everything was in its place and that's probably why we got selected. No violations were displayed. As for prices, it's competitive both for us and the customers. Give a Life, Donate Blood charity event was held in the National Center for Disease Control and Public Health in the frameworks of the Donation Week. 30 employees of Iashvili Clinic donated their blood for the children suffering from leukemia. International Blood Donor Day is celebrated on June 14th all over the world. This year's campaign is dedicated to the 10th anniversary of the Donor Day and Georgia also joined the campaign. Smuggled gold was seized in Tbilisi International Airport today. Azerbaijani citizen flying on Istanbul Tbilisi flight has ha had 687 grams of gold hidden under a medical belt. According to the expertise, the value of the smuggled gold is 7,900 US dollars. The case has been transferred to the investigation office of the Ministry of Finance for further investigation. Managers of Frankfurt Book Fair as well as the President and the Vice President of the organization visited Tbilisi. The delegation visited National Center of Manuscripts. They visited the Exhibition Hall, Permanent Exhibition of the Center, Manuscript Storage Room and the Storage Room of Georgian and Foreign Documents. Afterwards, the delegation moved to the Parliament Library where they met with the Georgian translators and writers. They also visited the exhibition in the National Gallery and attended a Rizioni concert at the end of the day. The delegation will stay in Tbilisi for several days. And this was all for today. Don't forget to watch us on Channel 9 during the weekdays. Thank you for watching us.